This example problem deals with gravity and an orbit around the Earth. Uh, perhaps you know a geosynchronous satellite has one orbit around the Earth every 24 hours, and the altitude above the Earth's surface is roughly 35,800 kilometers. Uh, in this problem, we will calculate the altitude for a satellite that orbits the Earth twice every 24-hour period. So the period of the orbit will be 12 hours. I always recommend making a little sketch of the problem and writing down key concepts. So this is not the scale, but we have the Earth over here, and we're viewing down onto the North Pole. And this satellite is going around the equator, above the equator of the Earth. It's moving in circular motion. We're going to assume the orbit is a circle, and there is a centripetal force required for the satellite to move in a circle. That centripetal force is supplied by the force of gravity between the Earth and the satellite. So the formula for centripetal force, the mass of the satellite, the speed of the satellite squared divided by the radius of the orbit, and the force of gravity is the universal constant of gravitation times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the satellite and divide by r squared. How would you simplify these symbols? Well, there's one factor of r dividing each side that can be canceled. And then the mass of the satellite appears on both sides. So we do not need to know the mass of the satellite. The other constants we'll uh, look up and we'll put those in. Now, we asked in this question for the um, case of a 12-hour period for the satellite. So that data would be useful to put in. We were not given the speed of the satellite. So we're going to make a substitution. The speed is distance divided by time. The distance is the circumference of the circle, 2 pi r. And the period is going to be the 12 hours. We need to substitute for speed squared. So we square 4 pi squared r squared over t squared. And now let's go ahead and make that substitution. And we have the uh, following equation over here on the left. We are interested in the altitude. r is the distance away from the center of the Earth. But if we can solve for that, we can subtract off the radius of the Earth. And we'll have the altitude of the satellite. r is from the center of the Earth out to the orbit of the satellite. So I've multiplied both sides by r to get the r cubed. I've divided both sides by 4 pi squared. I've multiplied both sides by t squared. So you might want to pause the video and verify the, uh, the algebra that's uh, occurring here. Uh, it's time to put in some numbers here. First thing we need is the time in seconds, the period in seconds. So we're going to do a little conversion here. Uh, hours can be converted to seconds. If we multiply by 3,600 seconds and divide by one hour, we'll cancel off the hours units, and we get 43,200 seconds. Now let's uh, full-fledged go ahead and start doing our calculation here. So we have a situation of r cubed, the gravitational constant. This is a little bit of an approximation, but 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11 in standard metric units. We have the mass of the Earth, 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. I obtained this at a, a NASA site. So do a Google search with uh, NASA mass Earth, and you'll find this number easily. And then we found the period in seconds. <clears throat> we'll be squaring that. Don't forget that. And dividing by 4 pi squared. So you should pause the video and do this on your calculator. See if you obtain 1.8841 times 10 to the 22nd. Is that the radius? No, that's r cubed. So now I activated the cube root function on my calculator, and I come up with a value for r, 2.661 times 10 to the 7th meters. We're interested in the altitude is the question in this problem. So we're going to take this value of r that was found and subtract the radius of the Earth. And again, along the way here, pause the video and uh, uh, use your calculator to verify these numbers. So the altitude is going to be, here's the r value we found for the orbit. This number is from the center of the Earth to the orbit. This number is from the center of the Earth to the surface of the Earth, 6.378 times 10 to the 6 meters. So subtracting, we get uh, 
20,230 kilometers. That's the altitude. If you prefer miles, the conversion, one mile divided by 1.609 kilometers. So we find an altitude here of 12,570 miles. Uh, how can I judge whether this is approximately correct? So the period was 12 hours. The general concept is when you're closer to a dominating mass that's causing the orbit, when you're closer, the orbit time is shorter. So we found 20,000 kilometers for the radius um, of, or for the altitude, sorry. And up here for a geosynchronous, if the orbit time is 24 hours, it's 35,000 kilometers. So we are closer to the surface of the Earth. It is reasonable that uh, we have 20,000 kilometers. And you may be uh, familiar with International Space Station, Hubble Space Telescope, their orbit is even smaller in altitude, closer to the center of the Earth, and their orbit time is shorter, 90 minutes or so, hour and a half. So uh, if you have questions on this, you should you know, maybe replay it once, check with your instructor. If you'd like more uh, of these tutorial videos for physics and astronomy, these two websites are free, no registration. There are lists of the videos with a description how many minutes long they are, and there's a direct link to the YouTube video uh, in this annotated list. So please subscribe to my channel and YouTube. It's free if you enjoy these videos.